Hello my crafty friends. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I cut with both my Vagabond and my Sidekick using some of my shape dies. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to be cutting using my Vagabond. And these are the plates that I bought. You can get the regular size. These are the implements that came with the Vagabond. So I went ahead and bought these plates to go with. And because it's six inches across, I cut my pattern paper or cardstock, you can do both, to fit. I'm going to be using my postage stamp die. This is the bigger one that you can use for a mat on your card. This is your sandwich. Now I'm going to push this button here to go forward. And then I'm going to push start and just hold it down. And then I always back it up. So I'm going to push this down. So I get a good cut. It's just a habit I got into because I was too lazy to reach over. So there is the stitching around the edge. Makes a really cute mat. Here I'm going to be using the circle dies from Stampin' Up. They come with the scalloped edge and the plane. And what I did here was I taped this one together because these are the ones that I used together. I'm going to be making the scalloped out of cardstock and then I'm going to be using white to cut out the circle. So here is the cardstock for the circle. Or the scallop and here, whoops, okay. Put them on the right plate here. This is the cutting plate. And this is the one I don't cut and I wrote on here, do not cut. Sometimes I get some indentions. So we're gonna put this up higher and then I'm gonna put this here to cut the circle. We're going to try to do it, do both of them in one fell swoop here. Okay, again, push that forward. Well, oh, okay. So align these properly now. Because I did overlap it, so it wasn't like in the double thickness. But let's see how we go here. Okay, there is our scallop. This is flirty flamingo paper. And then plain white, because I'm going to be putting a sentiment on that. And you get just a nice little peak of the uh, the scallop, which is what I want. I don't want a small circle to where there's too much too much cardstock showing. And here is my sidekick, and I'm going to show you how to use that. I will put the phone onto the stand so you can see what I'm doing. Like I told you in the last video, I used these. These are Tim Holtz, and they are thicker than the ones I got with the Sidekick. Now, before, uh, when you use these, you have to use a certain amount of cardstock, what, whatever you could find, to try to create enough pressure, and it was kind of an experiment. 
but with these, they're thicker. And so that's not an issue. So you use two of these plates and you have enough thickness. So what I'm going to do to show you is I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. This is about two and a half inches across. So you want to, you want to make your cardstock the size that you need it for the small dies, but not, not bigger than two and a half inches. So I'm going to put, this is the love heart that I use to make my Valentine cards. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, I will be putting that at the end of the video and in my description box. All right. Now, you suction this down by closing, by turning that crank, and then you crank towards you on this side and you just slowly work it through there we go and so we have our three pieces. We have our triangle, we have our love, and we have the little postage stamp. Okay. I want to thank you for joining me. I will be doing another video like this on embossing. So please subscribe so you don't miss that and tap the notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.